Universal is building a theme park in the UK. You're watching Ride Comparisons and I'm about to drive over three hours to look at a muddy field. Universal is building a theme park in the UK and this is the start of our new series. Okay, so after a horrible four hours of driving because it's a bank holiday, we're finally here to start our new series, updates on Universal Great Britain. So here we are, guys. Yep. I've really just driven over four hours to come and see a muddy field. But it's not just a muddy field, guys. In the future, this is going to be a Universal theme park. Has it been confirmed yet? No, unfortunately. So my main reason for coming guys, I've seen over the past few weeks so many different accounts pop up on TikTok and YouTube. There's Universal Updates, Universal, Universal Great Britain, uh, Universal UK. There's so many of them and it's become so saturated already um, that I'm watching some of these videos. People are dragging it out over like 11 to 20 videos when we still don't actually have an answer. So I'm going to do my best today to get it done as quick as I can for you. Um, it's a long drive from my house, so I don't know how many of these updates there are going to be. It won't be very frequent, but it will be whenever it's important. So let's start, guys. One thing is for certain, guys, it is definitely a lot worse than the Fort Park Monks Walk. And I think I've destroyed my shoes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning, guys. Universal have bought a plot of land here in Bedford at Kempston Hardwick. I'll put a picture of the map up now. On the map, as you can see, this is where we're currently standing. So this is the um, site for the uh, theme park part of the uh, area, if you look at the map there. So that map was actually from a website that also popped up when they bought the land, um, Universal Great Britain. You can type it in on Google and it will pop up with lots of information about what Universal do and what they're planning to do here in Bedford. Other steps that have recently taken place as well, um, Universal held two sort of like little conferences um, here in Bedford. They had a little exhibition uh, with sort of all of the pictures of what you can actually see on the website. So I didn't actually attend to that. I don't think I missed too much, but here's a little bit. And to be honest, this is the main gist of it. Okay, so we're in the at start of a public engagement period, and we'd really like to get your thoughts on what you think we should do with this project, especially as it involves the local history, uh, how we can uh, uh, use that in our park and uh, we'd love to get your comments by May 3rd and the reason for that is because we need to give a presentation to the government on this project. We'd love to incorporate feedback from people in Bedford as well. So Universal held two meetings to the public here in Bedford. It looks like they got the support of the local community which is great but the main gist of that meeting that I got from it anyway was that the 3rd of May they're taking a pitch to the government. Um, today is the 6th, we haven't had any news yet unfortunately but with today being the 6th means that they have done that pitch, they have held that meeting, so any day now we'll be waiting for a sort of confirmation result because as it stands there is still no confirmation. Yes they've bought the land, um, there's a lot of speculation as I say from all these videos that I've seen that's just wasting people's time, but still uh, concrete evidence we don't yet have an answer. So that's pretty much the update there for you guys in regards to what we actually know so far. Are Universal building a theme park here in Bedford? Maybe, we don't know yet. But to be honest, it's looking extremely likely. We're just waiting guys, any day now we should be getting the result. So we've driven over four hours. Whilst we're here, we might as well have a look at the area. As I say, looking at the map guys, this is the theme park area and it's absolutely huge. A lot of people were saying it looked quite small on the map, but this goes on for a very, very long time. Um, there's a little road over there. We'll explore the other part in a minute, but for now, this is the, uh, this is the theme park area, as I say. There's rumours of JCBs coming in and digging stuff up. Um, as we can see on the ground, guys, there are tracks. Um, if the area is owned by Universal, I can't really see anyone else coming in here with diggers just randomly digging stuff up. So they're obviously testing the ground, seeing what it's going to be like when they, when they do eventually start building. Um, they did say in the meeting that 
Bedford is very flat, so it's going to be quite an easy place to build a theme park for them. As I say, guys, they did ask in the meeting why Bedford, and they explained that it's about two hour journey for 50 percent of the country obviously not for me unfortunately um, i live down south uh, sort of eastbourne brighton area um, so it's over four hours three hours for me to get here but the way they explained it in the uh, in the sort of meeting to the public was 50 percent of the uk can travel here within two hours so that's why bedford guys and maybe the lamb was cheap i have actually destroyed my shoes coming here i did not think anything would be worse than the fort park monks walk Anyway guys, let's have a little look. My shoes are already destroyed. Oh my God. Oh God, I'm sinking. So yeah, we have uh, giant trenches. Obviously looking at the soil profile guys, you can see you've got the, um, the soil on the top there and then down it starts going a little bit more like clay. I hope they don't have a flooding issue because as you can see that's filled with water there. I mean, it's universal, guys. They're, they're a multi-million dollar company. and They're not just going to dump a theme park here. They're going to completely change the whole area. Um, they'll make loads of jobs for people, which in the government's current situation, I, I reckon they've approved the project uh, personally. But the area will just completely change. It's all green at the moment. Soon we'll have a giant theme park here, hopefully. It will completely change the UK theme park industry. Um, and to be honest, Merlin, Merlin's got to be pooing their pants right now because as soon as this is confirmed, um, they got to up their game big time. So just sort of taking it all in, guys. I mean, I'm currently standing here right now with what, as I say, is a muddy field, but will hopefully within five to seven years be a universal theme park. And I can look back on this video. It'd be quite interesting, quite cool, I think. Anyway, let's get to the other uh, part of the site. Have a look. So whilst we're walking over to start the other part of the update guys, if you want any future Universal updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that uh, Ride Comparisons can afford some new shoes. So trying to walk to the, um, the other part of the site, it says private property, uh, no unauthorised access up there unfortunately, so I don't think we're going to be able to walk down there. But all of this area is within the um, property that's been bought, so I'm not sure there's loads of camper vans and stuff over here. So the area where we just were was the um, back gardens of all these houses here. Um, I feel quite sorry for these guys because when the theme park does get built, they're going to be like bang smack right in the middle of a giant noisy theme park. The traffic will be awful. And But apparently it's got a lot of support, this project. So. so this is the main area that you see in all the videos, guys. Obviously, unfortunately, we can't go in there. We've got warning, CCTV and operation and private property. Now, when we actually arrived here and parked, um, one of the, um, I don't, I'm going to call them builders, one of the construction workers was going in. It was a lady, she just opened the gate, she drove through. And then when, as she was shutting the gate, I said, I'm sorry to be nosy, but is this the correct place? Is this the area where they're building the Universal uh, theme park? And she said, I'm really sorry, I'm not allowed to talk about it. We've signed a declaration of secrecy. So they're building a theme park, guys. It's basically been confirmed. Now, as we were walking back there, guys, um, one of the locals came out of their house because obviously we must have looked a little bit weird. Um, with a, you know me standing here with a smiler top on walking down with a gopro she wondered what was going on so she said um there's not too much going on at the moment it looks like what they've done is they've done the borders for everything around this area as you can see they've got metal fencing around it so they're basically just mapping out the whole of this area um it doesn't look like they've started on the actual theme park side yet as we saw earlier they've just sort of been testing the dirt over there but this area here i'll show you on the map what we're looking at right now so this area here, um, it's for uh, mixed use, as you can see on the map. So we're not too sure what it's going to be yet. It might be a bit of car park. It might potentially be another little bit of theme park. Um, it's got a landscaping area as well. And that's basically what we're looking at here, guys. There's a random little gate here. I'm going to assume if I stay this part, of the, if I stay this side of the fence, technically, I'm not trespassing. So here we go, guys. Not trespassing, but we've got a little bit of a better view here. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Um, there's loads of people milking it, as I say, but when it comes to it, this is really all we've got at the moment. Any day now, we're waiting for that confirmation to drop through, but with what's going on, it really does look like it's been confirmed already. This is what I mean by saturated here, guys. Look, we've got a sticker here. 
there's a QR code on there. It takes you to um, one of these people's YouTube. As I say, I've seen like 20 different accounts of him. This guy's got 1.2K subscribers and he's only posted 14 videos. Um, for us, people that actually vlog the theme parks, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit salty. 14 videos, 1.2K subs, I wish I could have done that. So that brings us to the end of the update, guys. Um, do let me know in the comments section whether or not you wanna see us following this project. Um, as I say, it is very saturated. Loads of people are gonna be following it anyway. We won't do them too frequently. We'll only do them when they're exciting. Jumping in the car quickly, guys, because it's really noisy on the main road there. Yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of it. There's not too much exciting stuff going on. Um, in the future, if we do plan to do these updates, if you guys do enjoy them and this first one does do quite well, we'll be investing in a drone so we can see a little bit more of what's going on because obviously it does look like the area is just going to be no trespassing and we're not going to be able to get access to the site until maybe future if we do quite well with the videos. So um, we'll be going to Universal in September as well to take a look. Um, I've never actually done a Universal theme park before, but I've heard that they are a very big deal. They're supposed to be the most immersive theme parks out there. so. This will be a part of our um, update series as well. We'll actually be going there and having a look to see what we'll be expecting in the future. Anyway, guys, if you do want to follow us along in this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it really does help us make this content. And I'll see you next time. Universal confirmation coming soon.